Okay, hi there everyone. It's Sunday and um, I have finally got everything together to do a couple of videos. So um, uh, what I'm going to do is first off show you the stuff I did yesterday. I got some amazing results because it's totally different than what we're used to. Um, first off, this is the, uh, the top coat. And as you can see, it uh, dried totally smooth and it's uh, exactly just like resin is. So that's uh, a nice thing to know. Um, I didn't put a, a lot on the sides as you can see. So maybe I have to, uh, here's a little bit of a drip here coming down here, but I think we'll have to um, make sure that the sides are also covered. But as you can see, totally smooth and flat and absolutely just like resin. It, it doesn't um, give that little cloudy look. It's totally crystal clear, very, very shiny, and it only needs one coat so then it gives you this nice smooth professional look see that so that's one thing that we did yesterday and i can say two thumbs up now the other one i did um like someone said i think it's gonna move and it did move as you can see but i'm not sure if you can pick it up but it's almost translucent. It's, it, it has, it's super, super slippery, shiny. Well, not shiny, but slippery smooth. And that's probably because I sprayed it with the, um, with the acrylic spray, but it has something to it that I really like. Only I wish I, it was all like this. So not those, you know, the cell things, but totally like this because I would have liked it a little bit more. But it is, um, I don't know, I've never seen it before. And it, it really, uh, I think it's really something that I'd go for because it looks like it's, I don't know, <laughs> I just can't explain it. But what we're going to do with it is I have a new stencil and I'm going to stencil. Uh, can you hear the birds in the background? No, they're not in my garden because it's dead winter. Um, it's a, it's a Spotify that I've got on there. So, um, I'm going to put this one on here and then flip it and do one down here. So let me get my tape just to make sure it doesn't move too much because that we don't want. So we're going to put one up here. Ooh, that's not centered very well. Anne Marie. Watch out what you're doing. Okay, that looks better. That's about as much there as it is there. I'm still not feeling well, and I'm, I'm, I really want to thank everyone for the, for the good uh, get well soon wishes that everyone gave me. But, you know, there's just that much time you can spend on the couch under a blanket, right? because sometimes it really gets to you that you can't do anything. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, working when you're not feeling well doesn't give you like the best work you've ever done. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm just really happy that you guys are bearing with me. And uh, well, at least we're doing some creative stuff, right? So I had, this is leftover paint from last week, Saturday. And look at that, it's perfect. So um, I'm gonna take a little uh, sponge. And I do like those sounds in the background though. <laughs> that really calms. It's really nice and zen. So what we're going to do, oh, and I've got some really pretty colors mixed up. They're already sitting there waiting for me to add a little silicone. And then I'm going to pour on a 30 by 30. And I'm going to use my comb, which I cut in half, like I said. That might be better. So I'm going to use that. And someone said, why don't you use one of your hair clips? Because they have those nice little combs. So I cut one up 
and uh, I cut them down because you can't use the whole thing. I'll show you. See, this is the whole thing. And that really, you know, see, that doesn't make for a very nice comb. They don't spread out nice and evenly, so I cut them down. Let me put that back up before you get my ponytail in the uh, in the video. So I cut them down, and I might be using these too. At least we'll try, right? Everything, you have to try everything once or twice. So what I'm doing is, um, right now I'm pushing in a little paint in that sponge. And I'm going to stencil it on to see what it's going to give us. Who knows, it might be pretty. Maybe not, then we can throw it away. Who cares? You know, just as long as you're having fun. You know, the, the making of a piece is sort of the the quality time you got. And if in the end it doesn't work out like you want, well, who cares? You've had a lot of fun. Now, I still want to show you the one I did last time. Uh, that's the right way up for me. Or is it that way? Eh, I think this way. So as you can see, I uh, gave it a little uh, varnish. So it's nice and not too shiny but it brought out all the colors the background too and uh, i think it, it it turned out to be a nice little pour i uh, still have to sign it so i'll do that later on this week if uh if i get some energy back i was on the internet this morning uh, on youtube looking at the uh you know the colleagues that are doing stuff i do that quite often because I like to see what others do. But it did surprise me that some people have like, um, uh, there's one person, a d deliberately creative. She has like 250 uh, subscribers. And then when you look at the videos, there's it's like oh, about 11 to 15,000 views. And I'm thinking, wow, that many subscribers. And then only so many views. That's really strange. I'm doing this a little faster than I did last time. I just thought, you know, let's do it a little bit differently. Oops, got to watch out that I don't go over the side. So, um, yeah, that was a sort of an eye opener. Because of uh, if you have that many uh, subscribers and only like a fraction of the viewers i'm thinking what are all these people subscribing if they're not going to come back and watch and i guess that's the same for me because i have like i don't know what i have 62,000, yeah but I guess that's how youtube works right girls and guys yeah that's how it works okay i think uh that's about as much as i want on there now to pick it up, let's see if we got a clean palette knife. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm. I think I should have done it a little bit more. Well, it's, it's, it's nice, but let's put it on in mirror. It's nice, but not nice, if you know what I mean because it's a lot of jaggedy edges here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, now I'm gonna hold it. I'm not gonna... tape it down, a little bit taped down, but not as much as... Well, maybe it'll, it'll be, um, you know, it just might give a nice effect when it's dry. Who knows? We'll see. There we go. I think I'll buy one. Uh, you know, you have these sponges on a stick. They, they're especially for, um, for stencils. I might buy a couple of those. I saw some um, a discount code that I can use on my uh, favorite website, so I just might buy some of those. That might work better. Okay, it's done. 
you know, sometimes when uh, stuff doesn't work like you wanted it to work, sometimes it gives you something new. Let me put this in water before I ruin it. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My t phone just shut off and then we don't have the nice sounds anymore. And this isn't a nice sound. This sounds like white noise or something like that. <laughs> okay, well, kind of uh, funny, kind of uh, different. It's a little blotchy here and there. Where's the other bit of my sponge here? Let's take this off. Oh, it's already dry. Well, okay, we'll have to wait till it's uh, totally dry and then take that off. There's a little bit of uh, paint where it shouldn't be, but we can take care of that later. I think it's kind of, uh, yeah, kind of different. And we'll just keep it. But it's another thing you can do, you know, if you don't like your background, you could stencil over it, or you could do something else with... Uh, with paint who knows anything you'd like to do so let me put this aside <coughs> okay now uh, yesterday look at that it just came off just like that that is amazing isn't it I'll do that with this one too just pick it off off the plastic see that that's the most satisfying thing I think I've done all day. <laughs> oh, that is so nice. Look how shiny that is. And that all has to do with the, uh, the pouring medium that was in the paint. It is really shiny. And now this is all wet. Got to watch out. Isn't that amazing how this dries? And I'll put these away because I'm pretty sure I can clean them off and use them again. Because I've had one where I took out the uh, the entire inside as you can see you can just take it off and use the cups again so I will we'll be using them let's see if I can take this one out yeah here it comes look at that, that is, and then I've got a little round dot in the middle that is so fun look at that Oh, that would be beautiful on a window because in the middle it's a sort of see-through. Don't know if you can see it. No, not really. You can't pick it up, but that'd be really cool. Let me stick it on the window. That is beautiful, really. I wish I could show you. Maybe uh, I can in the end. I uh, know. Then my audio will go all f wacko. Last time I did that... Um, the audio sort of I don't know what happened because I didn't stick those videos together but all of, all of a sudden the it was totally out of sync and uh, I was thinking what what is happening okay this is really fun to do okay sorry got caught up in that Zen moment so I'll put those away put this one away because I'm gonna keep this paint um, there was a lot of um, silicone in here and I want to see what happens when you save uh, paint with that much silicone um, this was from last week and I have some paper and let's put this on here just a little bit just to test it and see what it does if it it might have um, you know dissolved the um, the silicone you never know what happens with the silicone when it's in the paint that long. So first we're going to use the spoon because we know that that works really well. Wow, look at that color. That is beautiful. Wow, I did not expect this. There's absolutely no, no cell action going on. But now I'm thinking maybe I only put it in the white. There was something that says I only put it in the white but what I do like is how 
beautiful it mixes this is really beautiful i like that see and this is stuff that you can do when you you know sort of experiment with the paint left over so let's put some of the white on there then with a clean well clean let me clean this off this little bit that's why i always say you know experiment even if you have a little leftover paint um, do something you've never done before, like um, pack it away for a, a week or two weeks, see what happens to the paint. Maybe you'll get different effects, and that is really a lot of fun. Oh, I saw a lot of people go to uh, Shelly Art on um, Instagram, because I saw a lot of people say, Oh, I found your art because I watched the video from Anne-Marie Ritterhoff. And, uh, but I also see a lot of people asking her how she does it. And I think, you know, sometimes you shouldn't do that because if, if, you, if people have asked like two or, th wow, that is amazing guys, nothing happening. And there was absolutely, there was silicone in here. So this is something new. This is really funny. Now I'm gonna add silicone again, yeah. So um, if, if an artist doesn't want to tell you uh, exactly how they do something, I think, you know, people should just back off and don't ask. You know, it, they asked her, like, every single um, image that she uploads, they start asking her how she does it. And obviously, she says, you know, she doesn't give an answer, so just let it be. Some people don't want to do that, and it has nothing to do with being a, a nice artist, a kind artist, or whatever artist, because, you know, it's just a choice you make. So please be kind to people that don't want to share their secrets, because not everyone wants to do that. Okay, we got back silicone in, in everything. As you can see, nothing happened. And now we're going to do the same with silicone. So a little bit of that color, a little bit of, oop, that was a little bit too much, but okay, can't have everything, guys. Okay, clean that off nice and clean. Now the magic is happening. Ooh, look at that. I love that. It's like a, I used the comb or something. Can you see that? How beautiful that is? Wow. I wish you could see the real color. Maybe you can. Maybe you have your uh, monitor better calibrated than mine. But that is pretty, right? I like this. I'm going to keep this one. Maybe I'll make... Um, eh, that's less interesting. I might try and make a, a print. We'll see. I'll lay it right down there next to the camera and we'll see if we can do that now one more yeah I promise only one I know I always say that and then I go ahead one after the other but this is the most satisfying for me when I uh, put the paint on and then do something to it manipulate it a little bit that's where it gets really satisfying. Wow, look at <laughs> look at the spoon. That's beautiful. Okay, let's do this again. Whoopsie doo. And maybe pull it down here. And I'll hold it up close when I do the uh, tor torching. is pretty. Oh, I really like that in the middle there. I got to do one more, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make that is going to make a pretty print. Um let me think. Yeah, I'm going to try and make two nice prints and if they're um you know, I I say this often, but I got to uh explain myself a little bit because if I 
I make the prints and then I get them on the computer and I don't really like them. If I don't like them 100%, then I don't want to put them on, uh, on, uh, on my website that you can download. Because I'm thinking now this is really beautiful. Let me get you in close. See that? That is really be beautiful. So I'll try and get a nice print, but if it's not totally like I really like it, then I won't put it on, okay? Now the music is really starting to bug me. Oh, I, I got a new phone. Let me see, get you in close there. I got a new one. And uh, let's see, another one. It's all sparkling, sparkling, and it's a lot of rain noises. Don't like those. Okay, let's turn it off. I uh, bought a, um, a Samsung Galaxy 9, S9 Plus, something like that. But I don't have to pay for it. I get it from work. I only, oh, well, I do pay a little bit, but not much. So um, that goes with the uh, territory of working at a telecom business, right? Yep. Okay, one more. Now I'm going I want to do something that I've never done before. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. No, I might do that in a new video because I have to find something to do that in first. I was thinking, okay, let me explain. I'm looking for something like this. See, about a finger thick, a tube. I'm gonna fill that up with paint and then I'm gonna blow it out. I think that would be really, really something different. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'll go find one and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys, yeah? Thanks for watching, love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Okay, yeah, someone asked yesterday, the first thing I say for the people that don't talk English that well is I love you all to pieces, right? And then the second one is German and it is Ich liebe euch alle. Then the third one is sometimes I do that one, that is Dutch. That's Ich hou für jullie allemaal. I love you all, right? Okay, that was that. So see you in the next video. Bye guys. Doodoo.